the fox and the crane they both were very good friends one day the fox invited the crane the fox said oh my friend will you come for lunch at my house yes why not i will come okay so tomorrow in the afternoon you have to come at my home okay fine i'll be there the very next day the crane arrived at fox's house the fox welcomed the crane the crane went and sat on the table for the lunch the fox served the soup in two flat dishes the crane was shocked to see this the fox said hello my friend come on it's time for lunch have the marvelous soup the crane said yes i will as the fox finished the soup and was easily able to lap the soup but the same way the crane was not able to drink the soup why because the uh, soup was served in a flat dish the crane tried and tried but could not drink the soup that day the crane left the fox's place hungry the crane was very upset what happened was the crane was very upset what did the crane did the crane thought of a plan what plan the crane said now it's time for me to teach the fox a lesson so what she did what he did he went uh, he went at fox's place the crane went and what he did he invited the fox the crane invited the fox so the crane the very next day the crane met the fox the crane met the fox the crane said hello my friend tomorrow will you come for for dinner at my place the fox was amused to listen that the fox said yes my friend i will that day train went home and fox also went home but the very next day in the night the very next day in the night the fox arrived at the train's house oh hello my friend you came the fox said yes the crane served the soup in two narrow jars the fox was shocked to see this the fox said the aroma of the soup is so nice i want to drink it the crane said yes my friend you can the crane started and started the crane was easily able to drink the entire soup because of its long beak and the narrow neck of the jar the same way the fox could not do so the fox tried and tried but could not drink the soup why because the jar, because the soup was filled in a very narrow jar the crane was able to drink the soup but the fox could not the fox understood that it was a payback from a crane the fox went and said sorry to crane oh my friend i'm sorry i disrespected you last day it's okay my friend i just did to teach you a lesson moral of the story is one bad turn deserves another